prove the following by using the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to natural number. In this question we have an equation and we need to prove it by using the principle of mathematical induction. So let's proceed with the solution. Let the given statement given statement be Pn that is here we have Pn such that 1 upon 2 into 5 plus 1 upon 5 into 8 plus 1 upon 8 into 11 all the way up to 1 upon 3n minus 1 into 3n plus 2 equals to n over 6n plus 4. In our first step we will try to verify whether the given equation holds true or not for n equal to 1. Now, for n equal to 1, on the left hand side we have p1 equals to 1 upon 2 into 5 that is 1 upon 10 and on the right hand side we have an expression where we need to substitute n equal to 1. So we have p1 equals to 1 upon 6 into 1 plus 4 this is equal to 1 upon 6 plus 4 is 10. Since we have the same value of P1 for both left hand side as well as right hand side, therefore we will say that P1 is true. P1 is true for the given statement. And in our second step, that is our assumption step, now we will assume that P of k is true for some positive integer k. Assume that P of k is true for some positive integer k that is here we have pk such that 1 upon 2 into 5 plus 1 upon 5 into 8 plus 1 upon 8 into 11 and so on up to 1 upon 3 times of k minus 1 into 3k plus 2 equals to k upon 6k plus 4. Let us call this as equation 1 and in our final step that is our generalization step we shall now try to prove that p of k plus 1 is also true. Now we shall prove that we shall prove that p of k plus 1 is also true that is here we have p of k plus 1 is equal to 1 upon 2 into 5 plus 1 upon 5 into 8 plus 1 upon 8 into 11 and so on up to 1 upon 3k minus 1 into 3k plus 2 plus 1 upon 3 times of k plus 1 minus 1 into 3 times of k plus 1 plus 2. In our next step we have p of k plus 1 equals to well, here we can substitute the value of this quantity from equation 1 as k upon 6k plus 4. So we have k upon 6k plus 4 and when you do the arithmetic for this quantity you will get 1 upon 3k plus 2 into 3k plus 5. And now let us try to simplify this as much as we can. Here we can write 6k plus 4 as 2 times of 3k plus 2 and keeping this quantity as such 1 upon 3k plus 2 into 3k plus 5 and here we have 1 upon 3k plus 2 common in both these terms so we'll take 1 upon 3k plus 2 common so we have k upon 2 plus 1 upon 3k plus 5 let us try to simplify this step this is equal to 1 upon 3k plus 2 into taking 2 times of 3k plus 5 as LCM we have 3k square plus 5k plus 2 and now in our next step we'll factorize this polynomial 3k square plus 5k plus 2 well I'm leaving this for you to factorize when you will factorize it you'll get its factors as 3k plus 2 and 3k plus 1. These are the two factors of this polynomial. So we'll write 3k plus 2 into 3k plus 2 into 3k plus 1 whole upon 2 times of 3k plus 5. 
we can cancel this 3k plus 2 both from the numerator and denominator so we are left with 3 times of k plus 1 in the numerator and 6k plus 10 in the denominator. This can finally be written as 3k plus 1 upon 6k plus 10 can be written as 6 times of k plus 1 plus 4 and therefore this condition is true for n equal to k plus 1. Thus we have p of k plus 1 is true whenever p of k is true. Hence from the principle of mathematical induction we can say that the statement pn is true for all natural number n. So this completes our solution. Let us see the next question.